Now what you're focused on. For better or for worse, Austin native Wes Hurt has always had a unique perspective on life. Ever since I was a, uh, a young kid, I always knew something was a little uh, different. Early on, it was for worse. Substances came in, you know, in high school when everyone's experimenting and so forth. When I tried, it was kind of like an elixir for me. Hurt found himself addicted to alcohol, to drugs. It just was a steady incline um, through from the from the day I started, quite frankly. After six stints in rehab and one in a psych ward, Hurt found himself at rock bottom. I didn't have uh, any more purpose, or I didn't know what it was. Fired, homeless, taking dozens of Vicodin a day. He was lost. Not wanting to kill myself, but not wanting to live. And it's a really weird state of limbo that you find yourself in. But Hurt says he needed to be this low to climb his way out. The grace of God and amazing family and friends and serendipity and, and uh, whatever you want to say that's synonymous with those things. There's a, a moment of clarity to, to fight back. And after that moment, he got sober. Then came an idea. And then I knew immediately. A business that turned his struggles into strengths. It was a weird built-in sense of accountability. Hurt created Clean Cause, the energy drink company that's giving back, with part of the profits going to people in recovery. When you're doing your day-to-day -day thing and you get stuck in the minutia, it's nice to, at the end of the day, know that every little thing that you're doing, you know, can have an impact. And they've done so in the form of more than $90,000 and 200 sober living scholarships, one of which went to current employee Brett Buchanan, who was once addicted to meth. I was uh, at Shoal Creek Mental Hospital and I called Wes and, you know, I said, do you know of anyone hiring? You know, I need some help. What this company has done for me is, you know, it's, it's given me a purpose. I have a purpose in life now. Most of the people you see here are also recovering addicts. I was like a IV user for heroin, so my whole life was kind of a mess. I have been in recovery for 1,029 days, and we all have that shame and guilt of what we used to do, and so it helps other people be like, I did that too. Yes, this is a workplace, but it's a community, one that Wes hopes he can continue to grow. It's definitely very cool to be able to work for a living and pay your bills, supporting your tribe, we want to kick some serious butt against addiction.